Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another team of the season Friday is upon us, and this time it's Bundesliga team of the season. This is the loading screen that we have right here. Of course, a lot of people are guessing what cards are going to be on the front of this. Now we have 15 new Bundesliga Tots cards coming into packs today. I want to talk about the content, the market movements that we should see, and what you can expect to see in the objective and SBC sections. Now, I think people are guessing this is Baku, maybe Waman in the middle, and like Kimmich. Or maybe Goretzka. I think this middle card is the one that's kind of confusing people. We're not really sure who that's going to be. 94 rated. That's pretty high rated with 93 shooting. So is it an attacker? Is it a midfielder? We're not really sure. But there are going to be some big names that get into the team today. And I want to talk about the cards, how they're going to move on the market, and uh, maybe a little bit of like price movements as well for the rest of this market. Because again, we've had an insane past week of La Liga team of the season with all the SBCs and with all the upgrade packs and the player picks being out. It's been a huge, huge week of content. And with all this stuff expiring today, most of the stuff expiring, today you, you look at a lot of these cards and SBCs like Marcelo, PK, Coutinho, uh, Ratchet, Kalker, a lot of these cards, Joaquin as well, they're expiring today at 6 p.m. on Friday and it almost seems like EA is going to hard reset for Bundesliga top team of the season which hopefully means they're going to release insane content like they did this last week during La Liga. So again, what we're expecting today content-wise, Bundesliga team of the season, 15 cards in packs. I mean, I'm going to show you last year's squad right now you're probably going to see a lot of these guys get in. Now, the one interesting thing this year is that we have the fan vote playing a part. Uh, so I still think you're going to see a lot of the Dortmund players. I still think you're going to see a lot of the Bayern players. They're going to be dominating in this squad. I bet I'd go, I'd venture to say that probably 70, 65 to 75% of the players in the squad today are going to be from Dortmund or Bayern because that's where the hype is with this league. I mean, of course, a lot of people are hoping for a Waman today, um, cards like that. You know, I still think even though with the fan vote being in effect, I think Alfonso Davies could get a card today because, of course, uh, it's the fan vote is going to carry a huge vote, a huge percentage here. And I think that's going to really pull in a lot of players that maybe don't, quote unquote, deserve a team of the season but they might get one. So, you know, guys like Sancho, Holland, Lewandowski, Muller, Kimmich, uh, like I mentioned, the Alfonso Davies, those are probably cards that you're going to see in the side today. Now, Bundesliga is a pretty hyped league, uh, but I really think that we're coming such off of a, we're just coming off a huge time in FIFA with La Liga that EA's really got to deliver today. The stat boosts for these cards need to be pretty big. Now, of course, we had a huge stat boost last week. Um, and a guy by the name of De Young, right? De Young had an insane, insane card boost, like plus 10s, plus 15s in some of his stat categories. Unbelievable looking card. We need stat boosts like this, EA Sports, today for the Bundesliga Tots. Juice up the Holland, juice up the Waman, juice up the Sancho, uh, because we need that, right? That's gonna what that's gonna keep this this game rolling for another week is if we have the really good cards that come out, because I feel like right now. People are really content with their squads after um, La Liga team of the season and all the SBCs and stuff and Premier League Tots. So hopefully EA drops some insane cards today on this game. Now we'll talk about those cards and how they'll react in the market in a little bit. Let's talk about content, right? Usually every single week we see at least one objective player. I would expect one or two more today. Uh, maybe one being a Tots and then maybe one being a Tots uh, moments just like last week with Carvalho and the Isak card. Last call here. They're expiring today at 6 p.m. if you want to get involved with either of those two players. And then one interesting thing that I think we're seeing now, it's starting to form as a trend, a flashback SBC on the Friday day one of the promo. Premier League, we had Bale. Last week with uh, La Liga, we had Marcelo. So maybe today, I'm not sure exactly who they would put out a flashback SBC for, but um, Marcelo and Bale, of course, we could make it three weeks in a row now with a flashback SBC on day one. That would be kind of cool if they did something like that. Not sure who they would do, but that could be pretty cool today. So I want to talk about, again, what's going to be happening on the market today because uh, SBC wise, you know, Fridays, you know, yeah, we have a cool SBC. We have a pack supply SBC. We have new objectives. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, one other thing we should have today, and this could actually bring a little bit of hype. This is going to drop pre 6 p.m. most likely. Player of the month for the Premier League. Uh, I don't know if there's a Prem SBC out right now for player of the month, but in the voting, uh, we have got ourselves 
the main man, Jesse Lingard, who I think is going to be winning player of the month today. So we might get his SBC. I feel like a lot of people are forgetting about that, but Jay Lings might see an SBC for him today. That could cause some English links, maybe some of your English tots cards, like a Mason Mount, uh, maybe, you know, some of the fullbacks, those could potentially go up in price a little bit if that Jesse Lingard SBC is cheap and it would be pretty hyped in the game. So just kind of mentioning that today. But let's talk about the market because I think the TOTS cards today from the Bundesliga, the brand new ones that come out, are going to react very similarly to the, what we saw last week with the La Liga, which was these cards were just kind of being put on the market slowly, right? There wasn't a lot of saved up packs. There's not going to be a lot of saved up packs today. So I don't expect all these cards to get really cheap right away. Now, some of them might get cheap right away. Just depends, right? Last week, we had guys like Vasquez, who was down at like 300,000 coins in the first 10 minutes. He shot up to 500K, 600,000 coins, literally minutes after that, just because his card looked insane and people wanted to go out and try it. And they thought it was too cheap because they were comparing him to a tall. So you might have some cards like that today if they have an insane stat boost. Last week, we actually saw, because EA released the team a little bit early, they released it on like a live show, live stream on their YouTube channel, the Spanish YouTube channel. I don't know if they're doing anything like that today, um, but they might release the team a little bit early. And last week, we saw some market movements because of that. But for the rest of this market, I, I still think people in this game do not have a lot of coins. That's why you're seeing a lot of the, you know, even more team of the season price guys like Premier League team of season, like this Hyunmin son, he was down at 1.52 million coins. He's right now back up to 1.62, so he's up 100K. But this is still down. He was 2.3 million coins a week and a half ago. You're seeing this entire market continue to drop off. And I think that this weekend for the La Liga Tots cards, it's probably going to be their peak if you have any of those. And the Bundesliga Tots cards, when they come out today, they're going to come out pretty high. They're probably going to drop back down into the you know second, third lighting round. They're going to get packed. They're going to get supplied. They're going to drop down. They might bounce back up a little bit. It's really going to depend on a per card basis. I remember last year, some of the Bundesliga team of the season cards bouncing around a little bit. I just don't know uh, if that's going to happen this week because it didn't really happen last week with La Liga. Hey, but you know what? It could happen this week. We will have to see. Now, players like this Sancho today, he's an interesting one for me because if he gets a really, really juiced up card... Um, I mean, this is already going to be... Actually, you know what? That card on the, on the loading screen that's going to be 94 rated with the 93 shooting, that could technically be Sancho, right? They could only give him a plus two, but they could give him you know, a pretty big boost in shooting. Again, this is a card that we really want to see an upgraded weak foot on. I hope EA goes all out today with the upgraded weak foot and big boost because that's really what's going to make Bundesliga hype this week, in my opinion. So EA, drop this card with a big boost. Just saying, just asking. Uh, but I do think these cards will kind of rise back up a little bit into the night, some of them, the rare ones, and then probably dip back down. Because let's be honest, right? The Bundesliga is a pretty big league in the world. And there's a lot of people that will want to try out the new Holland. Uh, the Waman, if Waman comes out today, I mean, I don't even know what to think this card should be at price-wise. It's going to be too expensive regardless. You guys remember when this guy's inform came out, there's just so much FIFA hype around this card I mean, this guy was really, really expensive, and he had a very, very high pack weight since he has a silver base. I think that's going to be the same with his card today. If, if he does get into the team of the season, he's going to be expensive right away. He's going to drop off almost all week. He's going to fluctuate a lot, um, and I hope they upgrade that weak foot because that'd be pretty cool. But uh, this card's going to be an interesting one. He might start over a million coins. He really could if they give him a huge boost. So that's going to be interesting. Um but again, one thing I'd watch out for today is your Bundesliga out of pack special cards because some people have already started investing into these and you're starting to see these rise a little bit. Again, I like actually seeing what the actual team is that is released before investing in some of the stuff. Like this Gunter card was 35K this last week. I believe he's right now up over 45. Oh my goodness. Gunter is about 50,000 coins right now on this game. A very cheap left back, very good for the links. But of course... Um, I'm kind of curious to see who actually comes out in the team today. If there's anybody that would kind of be a left back or if they released a left back SBC, you know, um, for, or an objective for a tots player, that's a Bundesliga left back that might hurt this guy's price. So I really want to take a look at the team and just see, uh, where it goes this week. Now, of course, last year, if you look at this tot squad, you can say, okay, we have a lot of strikers, Holland, Lewandowski and Werner. We're all on this team. Um, wherever Werner is, there he is. But they were all very high tier and very expensive strikers. So last year, 
your under 500k strikers in the Bundesliga, like other special cards of Werner, of Holland, and of Lewandowski, they did very well. They moved around a lot in the week, and people were buying them to put and link together with these uh, Bundesliga cards in their teams. So if you're looking for the out-of-packs Bundesliga cards today that could move around the most, I would try to see when the team comes out today or even when the team is released, just look around the market and see, hey, which cards right here fill in some gaps, right? Like this Sonic card was down at 424 and 30,000 coins. He is now up to 470. I honestly think the Sonic today is going to go up because A, he's rare and there's going to be so many Bayern cards that are in this team today. Unless he gets an SBC of some sort, like a flashback. I don't know if he really deserves a flashback, but it, it, unless he sees an SBC today, that's a card that I think could rise with the hype. This Mbabu is very, very invested in right now. Of course, people seeing the Wolfsburg link on the on the, the screen is uh, obviously people are thinking about, about a green link from Mbabu to maybe Baku, or maybe I guess if they made John Brooks with 90 pace, that would be incredible. I doubt that's going to happen because he was in the voting. Uh, but I think Baku would get in over Mbabu, but, um, or sorry, over John Brooks. But you know, some of this stuff today, it's going to move around a lot on the market. You're going to see some panic selling today. I do think that with this market, the way it is right now, people do not have a lot of coins. And as I'm seeing prices fluctuate, there's, I really don't expect a huge market rise later into the night tonight. Now I've got some cards that I'm, you know, buying and trying to actually just sell to get my kind of coins back today, because I really feel like today there's going to be a little bit of selling, panic selling, heading into 6 p.m. on the market. You're going to see some of the La Liga Tots cards drop, some of the, you know, Prem stuff drop because people are going to sell stuff to go try the new cards that come out today. That's that's something that happens almost every single week. Um, but I really don't impact or a C. I don't expect to see is what I'm trying to say a really huge rise on uh, the, this market tonight. I know the last couple of Fridays we've seen a really really nice rise. La Liga, yeah, you know, a little bit. I would just watch your icons because people are going to be trying to link together these TOTS uh, cards from all different leagues. I would watch your panic selling on the ma the baby and middle icons and even some of your icon moments because these cards do get very rare. Like this Lam is a German icon I would keep my eye on today. He's up like 60,000 coins from where he was at his lowest. Kind of like how this Javi card with the Spanish links, he's up over 800K. He was 730K last week. You, some of those sorts of icons you could see move today on the market. Now, also what I would look for is La Liga out-of-pack specials that have gone up a lot. If they get panic sold today, people are still going to be using their brand new La Liga cards they get that they got from rewards, from doing upgrade packs, and linking in their SBCs. So if you see panic selling on La Liga cards like Yuri Berchiche, like this Ansu Fati, maybe an Usman Dembele card, or you know a Serginho Dest, Future Stars, that has been up in price a lot with the links. If there's panic selling on that today, I think that sort of stuff could reach a low point and then rebound later on. Because again, people are trying to fit their brand new cards into their team. A little flex here. Silver one is all you need to go to in the weekend league, man. 97 Benzema from silver one for me. So I'm actually kind of stoked to try him out. Um, adding him to the nice little list of polls that we had this week from the La Liga Fakir. We got, uh, we did Kunde uh, a couple times. We crafted Trippier, crafted Courtois. Um, but yeah, I think... Definitely this Vasquez and Alba, right? Alba's a pretty cool card. Those are my best pulls from this last week. And a lot of people want to try those cards out in the weekend this weekend. So I do think you will see panic this morning though. And I think you will see some prices dropping today uh, and not a huge rebound, only rebounding in specific areas because I really feel like this market is really broke. People do not have a lot of coins. And if the Bundesliga Tot Squad does look hype today, um, then I do think you will see some people maybe trying to go out and, and try those cards and try them first day, buy them, put them in their teams. Because the other thing I will say is there's a lot of special cards from the Bundesliga this year, uh, especially that we've had in the last couple of, of weeks um, with SBCs. You know, like in my squad, even we got guys like Royce Podolski um, and this, the Bender card. Now, I know Podolski is, is not in the Bundesliga, but the German links, like this Royce card is in a ton of people's teams, the Bender bros in a lot of people's squads. So there's going to be ways that people can link cards together today if they come out in the game. So I think there will be hype with the Bundesliga. It's just going to be interesting to see uh, the stat boost that we get today and um, how people want to link those cards together. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today for content. 
on a Friday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team uh, with the Bundesliga team of the season coming out. Now, I want to talk about something SBC fodder related too, because we've seen this SBC fodder market go crazy this past week. There's a lot of people that are going to be looking to invest in fodder this weekend because prices have dropped down a little bit from where they were when they were super duper high this past week. Now, I don't know if you can expect EA to drop the same level of content during Bundesliga that you saw during La Liga, right? Take a look at the index 86. Stuff was really high after rewards. Rewards hit here. Stuff rebounded. We got to 6 p.m. UK and people started panic selling like mad because there were no big SBCs. And then stuff kind of went back up. I think you will see a nice dip with supply today because unless they drop a massive SBC today on Friday, I think you will see SBC fodder go down. People are going to be looking to buy that stuff up today because they're expecting more SBCs coming out this week. I would say if you do want to put some cards in the club, you can. I just don't know if we can expect an insane week of Bundesliga team of the season. I feel like there's more potential for us to be let down this week than to really feel like um, it was insane, like La Liga, because the bar was set so high with La Liga. We went from here to here, and now where's Bundesliga going to fit in? I really don't know if they can deliver that same level of content another week. So if you want to do a club stock, Friday, Saturday time frame might be the time for you. And if you know that when you see the squad today, or if you're, if you're a huge Bundesliga fan and you're going to want to do upgrade packs, um, a lot of these gold rares, I think are, are starting to kind of come back down like 1.2 K a piece. If you want to go ham on gold rares, I would start bidding during the lightning rounds today on Friday and on Saturday. If that's something that you want to do, whether it's an investment, because this week the gold rares hit a peak of like 1.5, 1.6K across the entire game with people doing the player picks. Now that of course impacts the price. If we get player picks again for Bundesliga, that will make the gold rares go up more. And obviously that's not guaranteed, but if that is an investment that you want to get involved with today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday is going to be the best time to do that on this game. But again, the market to me right now feels really kind of weak. I know we're in a, in a spot in the game where there's a lot of coins out there, especially for the high tier market. Some of your, your moments icons, your high tier stuff is still staying decently high. But every single week when we have team of the season cards coming out, people are you know shifting their focus from, hey, we just had a cool La Liga. Now they're kind of shifting their focus to that new league, the new cards that are coming out with the juiced up stats, because that's where all the hype is. And especially if we get the SBC content that we had last week, it's going to be a fun week. So hopefully we start off with a bang today on Friday. We're going to be live streaming it all at the content drop, looking at the market, opening some packs and having some fun on the game. My mission on Fridays and Saturdays and on the weekend is to kind of make coins and play foot champs so that we can during the week do upgrade packs and try to pack cards for our team like we have done the past two weeks with Vasquez, Cancelo packing him on tradable, uh, Jordi Alba somehow in I don't know even how this happened, packing Rashford, you know, two weeks ago. So hopefully we can get a banger this week from the Bundesliga as well. But that's kind of my mission today. If you want to drop in, that Twitch link is down below in the description. But that's kind of what I'm expecting today, right? Maybe one or two objectives, an SBC, probably a flashback, and then 15 cards in packs, hopefully with some big boy boosts and some juice. So there's going to be a lot of moves in the market. We'll be covering it all again through this weekend on this channel and live on the Twitch stream. So make sure you check out those links down below again. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.